Hello. Hi, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I've decided to do a glow up. I have been struggling a lot lately. The big sad has kind of taken over and I fell down the stairs yesterday. My body's not quite doing very well. I feel like a sack, like a like a toe. Let's just, uh, let's just get into this and fingers crossed at the end I will come out looking a little better. I've bought some stuff that I've never used before, which I'm quite scared about to be completely honest with you. I guess we better get started. We've got a lot of work to do. Just so you know, this is me getting ready for a walk. I I'm really learning that my transition skills are not there. I should probably give up and stop trying, but I never will. So first step of my glow up was to go on a big ass walk. I know you might be thinking that's not normal, that's not what you do when you're glowing up, but I do feel like walking is good mentally and physically, so it's a glow up for my insides. I don't know, I've just been feeling very caged lately and seeing the dogs definitely helps. I'm not gonna lie to you, this was a much needed bath and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about it and wish that I was back there. And you can bet your sweet cheeks that it was the highlight of my day. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I was having a whale of a time. I tried to make a fake beard, it did not go well. But I also got a bath bomb because everybody knows that it's not a real bath unless you have a bath bomb. Full disclosure, I know that our relationship is built on trust, so I will reveal to you the true colour of the bath bomb. It just looks like actual piss. <laughs> the bath was very much appreciated, needed, and enjoyed. I feel like it wouldn't be a glow up video without some sort of face mask, so I decided to slap one right on my face. I'm using the Yes to Grapefruit Brightening Vitamin C Glow Boosting Paper Mask. Did I get that right? I hope so. Damn it, expect me to have a very long face. Hello. I like face masks like this because they make me feel like I'm something out of Outlast. <laughs> oh, oh my eye doesn't like it. Oh my God, my eyes do not like it. Ah. Okay, so I have returned with my milkshake and it's even got chia seeds in because I'm just that healthy. So it's finally time for my eyebrows to go through it. First, I need to pluck all of them, just every single hair, don't even worry about it. And then I have bought this eyebrow dye. It's plucking time. <laughs> Something about watching this back is really unsettling to me, but if you ever wanted to see someone use their eye as support for their hand, then you're in the right place. I just stuck my finger in my eye. That looks like an eyebrow. Okay, so I think I'm at a point where I'm happy with them. I know they're not symmetrical, but my eyebrows never have been and I don't think they ever will, so mixed up the dye it looks like this now and I have a very strong feeling that I've done it wrong there's only one way to find out so I'm just gonna do it it's the moment of truth let's go please accept this as my eyebrow reveal so the first half of my nail painting isn't here because I thought I was recording but I wasn't and then when I finally did press record everything went wrong yeah. I actually really like this colour. I think it looks really sweet. I don't know if it's because my room is this colour and it's just sort of infected my brain, but I guess, is it lavender? It's getting close to my favourite, to be honest with you. So anyway, yeah, I think my nails look really cute. And just to set the record straight, this is my desk tidy. This is my desk clean. It's been through a lot, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> the next step is something that I'm actually kind of dreading. I bought a like at-home lash lift kit and I mean, I'm gonna do it, but I am terrified of it. Little disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I'm not gonna include the steps. I'm just gonna show you my experience. I do not like that picture. Honestly, if I make it out of this without blinding myself, I'm gonna be pretty impressed. First, I have these silicone pads and I think these are meant to stick the lower lashes down. The instructions are really, really not clear. 
that is such an unpleasant feeling. <laughs> okay, my lower lashes are down. I can't see anymore. Oh my God, ow. I don't understand why it's telling me to put super glue in my eye. I'm assuming it means the lash glue that comes with the set, but it, it says super glue and I'm like, don't put that in the instructions, please. <laughs> my eyes. By the way, I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is the most uncomfortable situation that my eye has ever been in. Now I put lash glue on this. <laughs> what the f Instructions are really, really not clear. I am terrified of it. What the f Okay, I'm now following a tutorial. I'm gonna try this eye because the other one is hurting real bad. So she takes the cleanser, this little thing, right? And then she goes in and she cleans the lashes. <laughs> this is a bad idea, isn't it? I hate this. I actually hate this. All right, now I take this godforsaken thing and just shove my eyelashes on. That is an unholy sight. Look at that, oh my God. Feel like my eyes deserve a written apology after this. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This is me. This is me. Oh my god. It's kind of worked in the middle. Well, kind of. It has worked, but then the ends didn't really join in, I guess. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to do it again and just stick those ones up, which is wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye now. I finished my other eye and I also did the end here again. Yeah, I officially, oh no, let me get up in your biz. I officially did it and I didn't go blind. So I'm very proud of myself. So I actually decided to go to sleep after the eye shenanigans because my eyes were like really irritated. I'm feeling a bit better today because I think my eyelids are kind of used to being poked now. To start the day off, I'm gonna do my hair. So I was thinking I was gonna dye it, but I don't think I'm in the right mental space to be dyeing my hair any color. And I kind of like it the way that it is. So I'm just going to be using this hair mask, which is actually a color protect hair mask. And I only have color like there. <laughs> That's actually my natural hair color, which I did not realize. I didn't know it was that dark. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on and it'll be great. So I'm gonna go finish this off, but I'll leave it on for the amount of time that it tells me to and then I'm gonna get a shower and then we're gonna do something that I'm actually excited for. To finish off this before I do my makeup, um, I actually bought a load of fake tattoos because, well, my sister got some and it inspired me. So I put one on my thigh. I don't know if I'll actually show that because it's a bit invasive, but uh, I'm gonna put one on my arm here. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one. Uh, it's on. <laughs> All right, and then you hold it on for 20 to 30 seconds. There you go. So I'm just gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put that just like same place on the other side. Okay, I don't know who gets uh, a tattoo that close to their armpit, but. <laughs> I tried. Okay, I'm gonna use this one here. This is fun. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it there. So I've got some of my arm, some of this arm, on my hand and then on my thigh as well. So I think that is enough for one sitting. <laughs> ah, so I guess it's finally makeup time. So this is temporarily the shirt that I'm going for. You may be thinking, wow, you're just, you've just covered up all the fake tattoos you just put on. And yes, I might get changed, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm just gonna do it like the same way that I always do it. I don't know. I decided not to talk while I was doing my makeup just so that I could chill out. And it was actually quite a relaxing experience. I think because I've not done my makeup in such a long time, I just really enjoyed it. I will say though, having curly lashes definitely makes everything a lot harder, at least regarding 
eyeliner and mascara. So in the end, I just went for a basic look, I guess. I didn't really want to be adventurous, I just wanted to look cute. <laughs> But yeah, my advice from this is if you don't have a brown eyeliner, you should get one because they're sweet. By the way, I feel like my room has been gradually descending into madness during this video and this is the peak of it. Do I look pretty? Please tell me I look pretty and comment. <laughs> so this is the finished look, including the tattoos. So I just got changed so you can actually see some of the stuff that I've done. So this is officially the end of the video. I think I have done my best. <laughs> Some parts were fun. The eyelash thing though, traumatized. So I will see you in the next video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And if you do want to see more content, consider checking out my other channel. So yeah, uh, bye. I look really ugly. I should have made my look Unless, <laughs> Brighton. This voiceover is weird and I'm sorry for that.